Well, here we are, yet again, my fishy friends, on another Alaskan adventure. You remember this boat right here? We remember her well from our first Alaskan adventure together here on the State Fishy Adventures, where we camped in the Alaska wilderness for five days. We're back in the boat. We're going to an uncharted place. We're about to see some of the most incredible country known to man. This is gonna be a good trip, everyone. Thanks so much for being here today. Let's go have some fun. High five. Everybody. Look at where we are at. So fun fact of where we're, we're at today. We are going about as far as you could possibly can away from civilization. Right now, Canada is about 120 miles that way. The nearest town by boat or plane is about 200 miles this way. And the next place that way is about 160 miles. So we are going about as deep as we possibly can. We're bottoming out in the Alaska wilderness. So deep in the Alaska wilderness. So deep. There it is. Oh goodness gracious. It's gorgeous. Oh wow. You guys are about to get your minds blown. Wait till you see this place. Let's back down the ramp, get our gear ready. Let's go fishing. Wow. Look at this place. Crazy river, super glacial. But the real surprise is where we're going up there. We're at the end of the road, everybody. The road ends right there, dead ends at the other side of that bridge. We're in the wilderness now. Everything looks good. That's strapped down, I'm strapped down. A little bit nervous. All right, brother, you ready for an adventure? I am, yeah. Let's go check this place out. All right. There we go. We got it all. Shallow. It looks like there's some movement up there though. I know. Should we just park the boat and hike up a little bit? We can. Okay, we've made it to our first destination. What a spot. What a flippin' spot. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, first thoughts. A lot of bear tracks. <laughs> lots and lots of bear tracks. Big moose tracks as well. Make sure there's no bears out here. Uh, this doesn't look like what we want though. This is not the color. This is not the river we want it to be. I was hoping for a lot more water coming out of this creek. We're gonna take a look at the map, see what we can do. We're kind of up high and dry in here now. So we're gonna have to either just push our way out or walk our way out to get back in that main current of the river and go check out the next spot down. I don't know, might be a day where we go back up into the lake. We'll see. Well, we decided to move out. There's other things that we can do up here. This adventure did not plan out the way we did. We did not let everybody know how far we were going if we were gonna go to those other creeks down. So that's gonna be for another video. But we're gonna head up into the lake now where this river comes out of. There's a couple of clear water tributaries to come in. We're gonna go see if there's some fish there. Very, very tip of the bay. See the glacier. 
glacier out there. It's that little white speck. We're just gonna, you can see how bad it's getting. The further out, further out of the lake we're getting, the bigger the waves are getting, so. Yeah, but I don't wanna go out fast. We're not, we're just going, I feel scared. I feel scared. When we go with the wind, it's not gonna be as bad. This is so cool. So cool, oh my God. Look at this one, it looks like free wheelie. Oh my God. What a marvel. Holy canoes. I feel so small right now. Look at that deep blue color. Never seen anything like it in your life. Wow. Yeah, that'll make you feel human, huh? Here, let's go under it. We are under the iceberg. Iceberg, Captain! Wow. Maybe we can cruise by this one on the way out of here. Just gotta make sure not to turn the boat sideways in any of these rollers. It will take on a lot of water quickly. If we fall in this water, you're not gonna last very long, even with a life jacket. But we're doing pretty good. Let's go take a look at one more. Then I got a plan B for where we're gonna fish next. Oh, there it was. Absolutely incredible. We still have a couple more days. Maybe we'll come back out here and try to get across the lake. But uh, starting in the afternoon like we did is not gonna work. So let's head to the next spot. One more. Okay, here we go. This is how we're fixing our trailer. Leaf thing broke. We got a big rock in there, flat rock. Kind of level us out. Very, very jank. Uh, but it should get us back to the river. As long as we get to the next fishing hole, that's all that matters. Okay, so Phil just said, hey, you see that giant orange mushroom growing up a tree on the side of the road? And I said, no, I did not. And he said, yeah, there was one. And I said, okay, let's turn around. He doesn't know what it is, but I know what it is. Backing up, backing up, backing up. There we go, okay. Where was the locale? Where oh, was the locale? That side. That side? You see it? Yep, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. It's giant. Let's go pick it. So what Phil has discovered from the side of the road is dun 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 chicken in the woods. Phil, what'd you find? Found some mushrooms, man. <laughs> Talk about it. Oh my god. Found some little pizzas. Oh wow. Wow. Look at all these beautiful chicken of the wood. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it is really pretty. Look at that. Yeah. Icebergs, chicken of the woods. We're on our way to the next river. We're changing rivers here. Some of these are pretty bad, but I think this one will be okay. Looks like a pumpkin. It does look like a pumpkin, a pumpkin. What's up higher? Look at the white ones. Conk. Oh, here it is. <sighs> Break just the ends of it off. It's really all that's gonna be good. Brown ones. A little bit tasty and a little bit of ramen. We'll make some ramen at the next spot. Look at that. Oh, milk cap. What if we just stumble upon a bunch of shamu? Killer score. Good eye, Phil. Nice. Look at what else we stumbled upon. A bunch of blueberries. Oh my god. I wish we had smell a vision for these mushrooms right now. Oh my god. <sighs> smell what you found, dude. Smell my finger. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Smells like butter. Oh my goodness, we found another one. And it's even bigger. Holy cripes. That's really old and gross, so all eaten out. Yeah. It's all eaten out. Well all right, on to the river. Time to catch a fish. Oh, it's the river. <laughs> okay, we're here. We're here, and it's time for the twiddle. The twiddle has happened. The twiddle is happening. We're here. <laughs> it's time to cast in Alaska. Okay, here it goes, everyone. How far is it gonna go? A little twiddle. Twiddle. Okay. Oh. Oh, got one, got one. Oh, God, what a hook set. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was so cool. So, so cool. Wow. Dransky Poodle. Pretty much as soon as it got away from the boat, as soon as it got down there, a little bit further below the boat, 
Bob Rodowski. And I apologize everyone, I forgot. I'm gonna go be going back and forth, you might get dizzy. Forgot the other GoPro in the truck. What's going on, Phil? Oh, oh doubled up. Doubled up, best friend Phil, doubled up. <laughs> this might be the cameo appearance of Phil on uh, Stay Fishy. We're doubled up. Um, my, this is my best friend right here, Phil. Hey guys. Filming world. Stay <laughs> Fishy world, if you haven't seen him before, he posted with me a lot of times when we're filming the addicted video, so. Oh, what a beauty. First fish of the day. First Alaskan coho on Stay Fishy. On this trip, at least. You know what, Phil? This is my 69th episode. Can you believe it? Yep, 69 episodes. We are celebrating 69 in a big way. We might just catch 69 fish in our 69th episode. Here's Phil's fish. There you go, Phil. Okay, here goes cast number two. And they're a little slimy. And they're a little slimy. I give a little twiddle. A little twid, twid, twid. Twid, twid, twiddle. Twid, twid, twid. Oh, oh, I just had one. Twid, twid, twiddle. Oh, Bobber's down. I looked away for one second. I looked away for one second and it was gone. Gonzo beans. Oh, that's a bigger one too. Oh God. Oh goodness. Oh God. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh gosh. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh doubled up again. Doubled up again. Doubled up again. Another beautiful coho. <laughs> Double that up again, that didn't take too long. Okay, here's Phil's fish at the boat. My bobber's back in. What can we make happen? Oh, he's on, he's on, I got one. Oh God, barely freaking made it down. I want the cromer, that's a cromer. That might be the one we're catching to eat, to survive. We're in the wild. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that, oh boy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Totally. Totally, totally, totally. What a nice hen. What a nice hen. This has been so good already. I'm just gonna let her go. I know we'll probably catch a cromer one. Check it out, we're gonna tickle her belly. Look at that. I'm tickling her belly just right. She's hanging out with me. <sighs> Woo! Okay, third cast. Or no, what was that? This is fourth cast. Fourth cast, can we get the fourth fish? Huh? Put on a, one of the steelhead jigs like I'm using. They work really good. Yeah. That way they're easier to unhook too. <gasps> oh, he's on, oh God. Almost four casts, four fish. Four casts, four fish, got him. Yes. Oh yeah, my hand is numb right now from fighting these beasts of salmon. Oh yeah. What a nice fish. Right up to the boat, what a sweetie. I'm gonna let her go. Okay, back in again. Here we go, five casts, five fish. Okay, here we go, five casts, five fish. I gotta give my left hand a little bit of a break. Your right hand, I gotta use my left hand a little bit. Bobber's going, it's down there somewhere. Looking for fish, looking, oh God, got him. It's swimming with it, oh God. Out of the water came, and into a mess. Son of a gun. That was five casts, five fish. Distracted by the GoPro. Story of my life. Always distracted by something. Okay, this is for six casts, five fish. Oh, got one. On the twiddle. Oh my God, he came off again. Okay, dueling bobbers. Oh, I'm already on. Oh God. <laughs> How far is Phil gonna make it? Just a little guy. Feel me. God. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh my God, it's not even making it down the river anymore. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. He's migrating. Okay, our overall goal right now is to get one that's chrome enough, that's a high quality of enough meat to actually keep and eat. And I have one on, and it looks chrome as heck. That's the fish I just had, dude. I, I think it is. It literally is the fish Phil just missed. Oh, that's a cromer. That's a cromer. Oh gosh, that's our fish. That's our fish. That's our fish, bud. That's our fish. Say it again, that's our fish. Look at her. Oh, super cromer. White belly. White belly cromer. Oh, come on aboard, honey. 
You know you'll like it. I'm gonna wait for a male salmon. Yeah. See you later, honey. Okay, we just moved down river a little bit. Phil and I are going dueling bobbers. It's kind of like banjos, but the bobbers, different B word. Can we hook them at the exact same time? That is the question. Oh, I'm down. Are you going down? Are you down yet? Uh, He's down. He's going down. He's going down. Okay. He's down. He's down. We got him. <laughs> Should doubled again. Oh, you can almost call that one a triple. Ooh, Ooh Cromer. Coming up with a Cromer. Oh, I love that man. Oh my God, they're trying to mate. They're trying to mate in the boat. We're doing a little science project. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay, we're gonna move one more time, get a Cromer, and then we're gonna cook, I promise. Okay, we lied. We're gonna cast one more time. One more double. You come in right behind okay, yeah, I'm gonna get close. Okay. That's okay. Okay, we're, but we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. Oh, yeah, you are. The bobber's turning sideways. Yeah, it is. Oh, bobber up, bobber up. Oh, Phil's on. That was an actual bobber down. Yep. Bobber all, bobber's all the way down. That thing just slammed it. Oh my God, I didn't get bit. It's not, so it's not over yet though. I think so. I gotta make another cast. He got him a bowl massive. Oh wow, Phil's is really wrapped. What a plump hen. Very plump hen. Oh, I'm, oh no. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah. What a hog. Show him to the crowd. What a fish. See if he'll stay like that. What a nice guy. Truly was a great guy. The fish whisperer. They just want to be with me. Oh yeah, Major Chromage. Major Chromage. They call me Major Chromage. Hey, just call me Major Chromage from now on. Okay. Okay. This is a nice fish. This is the one we're eating. This is the one we're eating. This is the one we're eating. Oh, come to Papa. Two story papa. Yo soy papa. Oh God, come back to me. Come back to me, please. Whoa, we're sword fighting, sword fighting. Oh Jesus, oh, he's gonna yank me in. He's trying to yank me in. <laughs> okay, can I, can I boat her? Look at that. Wow. She wanted to be me, or she wanted to be with me. Wow. What a beaut. What a salmon. Oh, you got him, oh God. Oh, got one, got one on the twiddle, on the twiddle. One last double. Oh, it's a crumb or two. You got one. He's got one. <laughs> oh, wow. Two beauties. Wow, mine's really chrome. Whoa. <clears throat> oh, wow. He's trying to sink us. He's trying to steal my jig. He's trying to break my rod. He's trying to do a bunch of stuff. I got him, though. I got him. I got him. I'll see if he'll let me tickle his belly. Oh, he totally did. Look at that. Dump. Beautiful, dude. What a what fish. What a fish to end it on. Yeah, it is. Beauty. Beauty's only skin deep, my friend. Oh. Later, bud. Okay, my arms are tired, my back's tired, my belly's empty. It's time to cook some food. And today, for today's recipe, we're showing you how to make a $2 ramen into a $30 ramen. Um, this is probably a recipe I've done before for you guys. I've definitely done it on the Addicted channel. Uh, but this one I'm gonna spruce up a little bit. I'm gonna use the mushrooms we found, I'm gonna use the fish we just killed, and I'm gonna turn it into a delicious ramen out of this right here. Out of that cheapo ramen, there's gonna be some of this stuff going on, this stuff going on. So in today's recipe, we got our chicken in the woods that I just kind of tore up. I kind of washed them off in the river, kind of tore them up. I got our piece of fish that I just filleted out. I got a shallot. We got some hoisin. We got oyster sauce. We got soy sauce. We got hippie cowboy. We got some ghost cream uh, pepper jelly. We got the herb roasted garlic base. We got the high temp deep fried tempura. Very good, very, very tasty. And we're gonna pair all this together and make a delicious meal, so let's get started. Okay, well, first things first, we're gonna get our mushrooms in the pan. I really just kind of took the ends here, so I'm gonna chop them up into fairly small pieces. I kind of want bigger chunks as I'm eating them uh, in the dish. So I'm gonna go fairly, fairly big pieces into the pan we go. 
going to now cut up my fish. And so I use the tailpiece of this fish, and you can see why. That's where all that fat is, and that's what's going to really give my broth a good flavor. But I'm going to simmer all this. I'm going to I'm going to fry all this together. Talking the the mushrooms, the fish, and a shallot, and then I'm going to start my broth over here in the pot. So let's get this cut out. I'm going to go fairly. Again, good sized chunks. I want to be able to actually get into some of those pieces. Hopefully it won't fall apart too much. Now this fish is pretty fresh, so it might flake apart pretty good. And to the pan we go. Now for our shallot. Thanks shallot. And this I want big chunky flakes. So I'm gonna cut it kind of crossways here. We go. We have fire. Fire burn. I'm gonna go a little bit of the hippie cowboy on there. Give it some love. And now on to our broth. Okay. Now we have our ramen. It's time to start our broth. This stuff here I like to use a lot. I'm actually not gonna use the flavor packet in here. The call. The call, I'm telling you. We'll use we'll use just the dried stuff, but we're not using the, the gross stuff. Maybe we use a little flavor sauce. What, 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 that couldn't hurt, right? A little flavor sauce, never hurt no one. And some dehydrated veggies, we'll use those too. So we're gonna just take this stuff here, do a pretty good little dollop. Boy, doesn't that look appetizing. But that's way better. This stuff is an actual stock, a vegetable or a chicken stock. I like to use kind of more natural stocks like this when I make this ramen. Normally it's a pork pork shoyu would be the original or the, the authentic way of making this. But I'm gonna go with something a little bit different. I'm gonna be using the, what is this here? Yeah, this is the herb chicken base. I'd rather a veggie, but this is all we got. We're in Alaska, okay? So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I'm gonna put a dollop of the ghost cream in there. And then I'm gonna add all the rest of my stuff here in just a second, so let's do it. Okay, that's about done. You can see all my fish is almost, only about halfway done, but I'm gonna put it in the broth once we're boiling here. Uh, so I do not want to overcook that stuff. I, won't, I want that fish to get dry at all. So I'm gonna turn that down, let it come to a little simmer. I'm gonna start adding my ingredients. So we got a little bit of ghost cream. Now this stuff, use sparingly. It's hot and we're not making a very big dish. So I think that even that is gonna make this soup pretty hot. So, mmm, but goodness gracious, the smell, the flavors. Okay, I'm gonna go, good little splash of soy. Probably about, I don't know, two, three tablespoons. I'm gonna go oyster sauce, and this really gives it a great flavor. You guys don't have to use this kind of stuff, but this is, I mean, these bottles last forever. They're fun, nice to pick up, and they really add a great flavor to any uh, stir fry or soup dish. We got our hoisin. This is really sweet, so don't go crazy. Same thing about a tablespoon. I'm gonna go a little bit of the hippie cowboy as well a little bit of everything seasoning and uh, let her come to a boil. Okay, we got a boil going. I'm gonna add in the rest of my ingredients here. Okay, in goes the fish. I want a lot of that fat and everything. You can see how fatty some of these pieces are. I want that fat to really render down into that broth. So I'm gonna put that in there early. That broth just came to a slight boil. I don't want it to boil too hard and burn off those seasonings. But there we go. That's looking good. Okay, so time to put my nudes in. And this is pretty much the only thing we're using out of the $2 nudes. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna break them in half. I don't like them too long and stringy. And I also don't like too many noodles in a dish. So this actually works out pretty nicely. So I'm gonna let those noodles cook. Let the noodles cook and we're almost there everybody. We are almost ready to eat. Okay, the time has come. Munchification time into the bowl we go. All we're really missing is an egg, but it's a bumpy road out here, so I didn't want to risk broken eggs in the cooler, but look at this. Mm, I got one more little addition to it before we're done here. And it's these little seaweed guys. There's a couple of those in there. Oh, that looks good. A little bit of nori, tempura style. Look at that, look at that, just take a look at it. Look at those big chunks of fish. You better get a nori scoop. Here we go. We got mushroom, we got fish, we got nori, we got nude. That's a $20 soup. 
Oh my God, that's really hot and it's really good. This is where I'm torn. This is where Jordan's Neanderthal nature comes out. I don't know, man burned mouth, but must eat. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow, that is next level. Look at how good that turned out. Got that butter on the top. The fish in there though, come on. The fish is what's really making this. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. Never actually made salmon pho before. I've used like smoked fish and stuff, but do it everyone. Chop up the tailpiece of your salmon and make some ramens with it. That is absolutely killer. Well, unfortunately, we're back in Alaska. Look at all these cars, planes, trains, automobiles. This is obviously not Alaska. It's the addicted shop. And we are here to stock up on some gear for our next adventure. I got home last night about 11 o'clock at night, woke up the next morning, and we're off and running yet again. We're going coastal. We're doing a gourmet catch and cook, but you're gonna have to wait till next week to see that. I wanna thank you all so much for being along on this Alaskan adventure this week. One of the best, best, best times of fishing I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely incredible. And I'm glad you guys got to enjoy it with me. So until next time, everyone, you know where to find us. Same time, same place. You all stay fishy. We'll see you out there.